What's up guys? This is Kiki from Kiki's Creations. I'm coming on for the very first time on a tutorial, okay? So I've been challenged by people in my community. They're like, hey, you need to do this. Trust, I'm no Martha Stewart. I just do it out of the love of crafts. So tonight what I'm going to do is something really, really basic, something really, really simple. You can take this same concept and apply it to shirts, or whatever you know fabrics that you want to use to do a double layer this is called a double layer using uh, heat transfer vinyl which is an iron-on vinyl um, so we're gonna go ahead and get started I hope you guys can see it I'm gonna try to adjust my camera here in just a little bit okay um, as I've already prepped everything I'm gonna do um, a mask for my grandson who wanted me to do him a, a face mask so I have my mask and what he wants is a PS4 controller. So I have my I have my vinyl. I've already cut, I've already um, weeded my vinyl. This is the um, actual controller and this is the outline. So I'm gonna show you guys to, how to do a two-ply vinyl, heat transfer vinyl, okay? It's not that hard, it's not that, you know, the hardest part is weeding. So if you get past the weeding part, you're halfway there, all right? And so because this is such a small, small piece of fabric. Um, I generally would use my heat press mini, but I don't have that with me tonight. It's at my other location. So tonight we're gonna just do it with the old fashioned iron. So here's another thing. So if you don't have all the Cricut products, it's no big deal. You can still create great, great crafts using minimal things that you have around your house, okay? Um, so, all right, let me try to adjust this camera just a little bit so that you guys can see what I'm doing. And unfortunately, I can't work backwards. Um, or maybe I can. Let's see. We're going to give it a try. All right. So the wider part, of course, is the mouthpiece. So we're going to see what we can do. All right. So remember when you're layering um, on fabric, when you're on your Cricut and you're cutting your vinyl, you always want to mirror your product. You always want to mirror your vinyl. Otherwise, it would have printed and it would have been backwards and you wouldn't be able to iron it on, okay? So always remember to uh, mirror your vinyl when you're cutting it, all right, to adhere to fabric, all right? So I'm going to take my vinyl. I'm going to try to set this in here as evenly as I can. Again, I'm working upside down for the sake of the camera so that you guys get a pretty good view of what I'm doing here. All right. This is pretty tedious, guys, because the the mask wants to fold in. All right. All right, see? So I got it in there, it's pretty pretty straight. Again, it's a kid's mask. It's in there, it's pretty straight. Um, oh, I gotta get one more thing. I gotta get my... Um, on top of the vinyl, you want to apply your parchment paper to keep the vinyl from burning. So let me grab that right quick. I'll be right back. Okay, so yeah, you always want to have something to cover your vinyl when you're going to press it and using heat. So I have the iron on and I have it set to the cotton. Um, I don't know if you guys can see that either, but I have it on a heat cotton setting, which is pretty high for an iron. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to kind of press down on my parchment so that I can actually see the vinyl piece itself, play with the fabric a little bit. And then we're just going to apply the heat. You want to make sure you cover the entire surface of the vinyl so that you get all of it pressed down. And you want to put a little weight on it, okay? You want to apply a little bit of pressure to it. You need that in order to keep the vinyl from lifting. All right? Oh, again, when you're using an iron, make sure you don't have your heat and your steam on because you don't need the moisture. You don't want the moisture. 
You just want straight heat, okay? So again, I'm just gonna hold this here for a few more minutes, moving it around, making sure I get all pieces of that vinyl down because it will lift if it's not down properly. All right? All right. So I'm gonna take that off. As you can see, it looks like it adhered pretty well. All right, so we're just gonna fan it. Some vinyls you have to be careful with because some vinyls are heat transfer only. I'm sorry, cool pill, and some are and some are um, warm pill. So this is a cool pill vinyl. So you got to make sure that it's really cool before you peel the vinyl away because if you do, you'll actually take the the item off the fabric along with the vinyl press here and you don't want to do that all right so i just kind of play with it and see if i can find a spot it's still not quite down still too warm i'm gonna rub it in a little bit just to get that to get that to cool a little bit. And then I'm also pressing it down so that it adheres to the fabric as well. But I'm just gonna rub it until it cools, okay? All right. So now we can actually peel the transfer tape off, all right? See that? Now we have a nice little control and he's down and he's on there. He is ready for part two. So with part two, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take the second piece and I'm going to line it up just so that it matches up with my outline here. This can be tricky trying to do it upside down. And this is um, this vinyl that I'm currently using. Um, to be honest with you, I'm not really sure. I believe I got it from Rhinestone World here in Florida. Um, it's a awesome, awesome place to purchase your your vinyls of all sorts. Um, so yeah, you just want to. Get this lined up as best as possible. It can be a little bit tricky, a little time consuming. Just need a little patience, but if you're crafting, you already know that. I don't think I have to tell you that. All right, so I'm gonna line this up as best I can. It's looking pretty good here. It's looking like a kid's controller. Get a little bit more. I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to turn this around just for a second so that I can line this up the right way. like I want it and for the sake of not moving it again guys I'm not going to turn it around anymore okay but I got the outline it's pretty steady pretty much like I want it just eyeballing it a little bit I don't know I can be a little anal sometimes so you guys bear with me all right all right, looking good, Kifa, looking good. Awesome. All right, so we're just gonna take our parchment paper, and again, make sure the iron is at its highest temperature, and we're just going to apply and press. Apply and press. 
All right. And I'm going to apply a little pressure, a little pressure on this so that I get all of the transfer tape down where it's supposed to be so we don't get any lifting. And as soon as we're done, oh boy, be ready to wear this. Oops. I see a little flaw here. It's going to be okay. We're going to figure it out in a minute. All right. Yep. So just moving around a little bit. Again, typically, typically I would use my um, my heat press. But again, with this being such a small item, quick item, I just wanted to come on and show you guys really quick how I do a two minute project when you have a grandson who's um, a little jealous of your work that you do for other people. Oh boy. So my heat, my vinyl kind of moved a little, but we're gonna fix that. We're just gonna take that vinyl and smooth it out. Apply the tape back on it. And then we'll apply more heat. Mistakes happen, guys. Mistakes happen. And it's okay. Because that's why it's called custom. That It's not perfect. It's not done by a machine. It's done by your hands. And, you know, we all know that, you know, you can, you can make it have a glitch here and there. And it's quite, quite, quite all right, y'all. That's what makes it one of a kind. That's what makes it very unique. And it's okay, it's for my grandson, and it was just a quick three, four minute job that I decided to do real fast for him. And, um, and again, it's all about the protection, not necessarily the image. So at least he'll have something to protect his little nose. All right, so I think I got that down pretty good. I'm gonna press it just a little more for assurance. And again, we're just going to cool it off here. You guys can see that. Just a little faux poo right here, just, just slightly. But it's quite all right. It's quite all right. It's kind of hard with the mask because they have those little indentions here that kind of wants to fold in your way. So... Not bad, not bad. Just let that cool off. This is really hot. So you guys be careful. You can still burn yourself even though it doesn't seem like you could, but you really could. All right. That's going to bother me just a little bit, but I will definitely take care of that after this video for sure. All right. I'm gonna cool it down a little bit and see if we got it sticking. These little corners here are not cooperating, guys. I'm gonna go over it again here with the point of the iron, applying pressure with the iron, just with the tip. I'm, if you notice, I don't have the back end of the iron pressing on the rest of it. I just am pressing in areas that were not um, press down properly the first time. So I'm just applying a little heat here in the corners where these folds are in the mask. All right. And then we're gonna, again, let that cool. I don't know, I might even come back with a part two of the video where I just add his name on it. I wasn't sure if I was gonna have enough space in here, but I'm going to actually probably end up putting his name in here. All right. So here we go, guys. And as you can see, the red now wants to put peel off because it's still quite warm. So you got to be really careful when you peel. It's best to peel downward always rather than upward towards you is best to peel away from you um 
it just allows the fabric to grab a hold of the vinyl, if you will, and kind of make it do what it's supposed to do here. So not bad, all right? And again, like I said, I'm no Martha Stewart because she would have had this thing A1, honey, A1, but we, we're gonna make it do what it do, all right? So I'm just gonna apply. I always go back over it, guys, after I take the transfer sheet up, and that's just to assure that the fabric has made perfect contact with the vinyl. And sometimes the transfer sheets can be a little thick. I don't know if you guys can see that, but this can be a little thick, and sometimes it prohibits, prohibits the, the vinyl and the fabric from making the appropriate contact. So I like to go over it once or twice after I've taken all of that off. And voila. Real quick, simple. A little foo pot there, but it's quite all right. And as you can see, we have a a custom mask for your little ones, all right? So I guess I guess, I guess this wasn't too bad. Again, it was my first one, and I hope you guys really enjoyed it. If you do, please subscribe and like this video, and I will continue to make more. Um, I also do things like tumblers, and um, I do... I do tumblers, like I've just completed this beautiful tumbler with a custom um, straw topper here. Um, so I'm looking forward to doing more tutorials with you guys and showing you guys how to be your best you in crafting, okay? So until next time, guys, see you soon.